Howdy do, Howligans. Welcome in, everyone. I'm very excited to do more um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Fallout 3. Last we left off, we were... Um... Oh, that's right. My game crashed. And I broke into sister's hotel room, and then everything broke. So now I have to re-break into the hotel room. Uh, but thank you all for joining me today. I'm very excited. I will apologize. Um, my voice is so scuffed today. Um, <gasps> Wiggles! Thank you so much for three months! Thank you! <laughs> thank you for continuing your, um, dub 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 membership. I, 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 I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really, really happy because I finally got all of my, um, uh, YouTube payment stuff squared away. It wasn't them. It was, like, 100% me. Like, I was doing my bank information wrong. Um, but getting that... That paycheck in my bank account was so nice because I was like, oh, cool. Like, this can go towards rent. Like, this is amazing. Um, so, like, thank you for your support. It means so much. Even if you're just watching ads, by the way, because, like, the bulk of my revenue is ads, which you don't have to pay for. Other people do. <laughs> no Starfield? Um, I'm interested in playing Starfield, but I'll be honest, I don't really want to buy it at the moment. I have a lot of games to play right now. Um... So, it is a game I have my eye on, though. Um, currently, we are playing Fallout 3. Yeah, Fallout, yay! Okay, hold on. I want to listen to this tape. Where is it? We have a little assignment from the Commonwealth. A very important slave escaped into the wasteland. <laughs> well, it's not exactly a slave. It's what they call an android. What? A kind of synthetic man. The important thing isn't what this guy is. The important thing is the job there are synthetic people he thinks the synth man might be looking to get in touch with the doctor or tech head. If you want to cut get a move on wait hold on so because I met a woman who was like hey this guy's like trying to steal me please don't let him steal me um S abbreviated since where were the synthetic people in new vegas i guess that's an east coast thing um okay interesting so i don't oh interesting now i have the thing hello snowflake welcome in um i want to go talk nice to day, huh? okay g please forgive me it's been like a week since i played i don't remember their name but they were in here where where are you? Evening. May. I'd rather be alone just now. May I think is the I'd synthetic just now. person? Because May was like, I'm afraid of sister, but May won't talk to me now. So I guess I gotta talk to sister. Huh? Venom, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's an East Coast thing. Okay, that's yeah. I was gonna say I was like, I don't remember that being in New Vegas. <laughs> Um, Evening. your security. Who are you? Janice. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? Oh, um, do you know anything about Rivet City's history? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. Okay, have you seen my dad? <laughs> I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. Yes, you She's can. in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. Yes, you can you talk about it. Just talk to her about it. Okay, fine. All right, I tried. <laughs> so well. I'm well. Thank you for asking. I'm um. Uh, I apologize if my voice is gross. The air has been so dry. Um. Hello. Have I talked this to you? Could use a few more I think I already talked to Henry. Is apart. Um. The to what the hell is this mess? Y'all, clean up your house. What are you doing? Shra your name is Shrapnel. Hold the phone. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I'll be honest. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. Um. Where can I offload some guns? You're kidding, right? Oh, right. He's part Fight of. That's why I recognize the name. He's part of that that gun I'm shop. Shrapnel, you idiot. Okay. Um. Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? I have a feeling he's gonna be like, "Go eat rocks," but it's worth a try, right? <laughs> history. Yeah. Okay. I Fuck was right. I I'm. You Fuck wear your heart on your sleeve, don't you? Um. Okay, I'm gonna leave because you're mean. 
Clean it up? Clutter ain't hurting no one. I mean, this is like a bunch of different tripping hazards. Like, I don't know why they have all this stuff stacked like this. Just, just make it neat. You know what I mean? Um, Young's door? I don't need to go in there. Uh, Bannon's? Oh, I... I'm curious about Bannon, because he's very suspicious. So I kind of want to see if I can find any- Ow! Dang it! I want to see if I can find anything cool in Bannon's place. Let's- Good afternoon! Hello! This man just walks up to you and starts advertising. Oh, this man lives like a serial killer. I'm sorry. This man wears people's skin. Like, what? what is this? Ooh, terminal! It's Hacker Man time! Um... Let's see if I can hack this properly. Bannon is on the council of this ship boat. Um, so I'm curious to find out if he knows anything. Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't even need to find the duds. I'm a genius. Okay, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Council meeting minutes. In attendance, Dr. Madison Lee, Bannon Harkness. Bridge repair continues to be a drain on funds. Permanent bridge considered, but dismissed as too risky in case of attack. Bridge tax for non-residents proposed by Bannon. Vote fails. Hydroponics and city health continues well, thanks to the efforts of Dr. Lee and her scientific team. However, system breakdowns are commonplace, requiring much maintenance. Lee proposed recruiting other scientific minds from Tenpenny Tower or Underworld. Vote fails. I'm liking the cut of Lee's jib so far. Because Bannon's like, I want money. And doesn't seem to do anything. At least, like, it sounds like she's doing the heavy lifting here. So, welcome in. Hello. Uh, attempts to clear out the Mirelurk infestation in Down Below continue as usual. Harkness and team is able to contain them and occasionally wipe them out. But they continue to nest in the area, posing a theoretical risk if they ever turn aggressive. That sounds like a quest. Bannon suggests closing off lower deck... Vote fails. Funds and ammunition allocation for my like, cleaning operation proposed by Harkness. Vote passes. Dr. Lee leaves early to oversee hydroponics testing. Meeting adjourned. Wait, I'm not done. Hold on. Wait, I forgot. I want to do agenda. Fence on the flight deck. Taxes. Gate tax. Water tax. Weapons. Contribution program. Interesting. What kind of build did you do? I'm doing a hacker man intelligence charisma build. Um, because I want to try and talk my way out of combat when possible, and I want to be able to hack my way into stuff for lore stuff. Like, I've never played this game before, so in my mind, I was like, I want to be able to get my hands on as much information as possible, so I want to be able to, like, you know, break into people's stuff and read things. I don't think Bannon has any information other than that, though. His place is kind of barren. I was hoping I could find, I don't know, proof that he was a clown... Because I don't want it. Can I be on the council? That's probably not a good idea. I don't live here. I don't have much to contribute. Um, who here is a synth? Good to see you. I wonder. I went that way already. Bridge Tower, Capital Preservation Society, The Muddy Rudder, Gate Bridge, Rivet City Clinic. I gotta go to the clinic so I can talk to Dr. Lee. Yeah, I already met Bannon and I already don't like him. Um, <laughs> now it's a matter- I think they mentioned somebody else was vying for his seat. I don't remember who that is. Alator, hello! Welcome in! Uh, so I have to f find- uh, Dr. Preston? Oh, here's the clinic. I think this is where Dr. Lee's at, right? The patient- patient system, ba ba ba. Where's the doctor? Yo, doc! Science lab, marketplace, ba ba ba. Hmm. Well, let's see who's in here. What's this about? This is such a wonderful game. I'm liking it a lot so far. Oh, can I talk to you? Mr. Buckingham? What a fancy name for a fancy robot. <laughs> Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. Does the robot run the 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 hotel? What is this place? This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the Finest establishment in Rivet City. Um, I don't want a room, but I am curious how much. 
Oh, the mere 120 caps. That actually feels not bad. Very good, madam. Um. Oh, what do you have to eat? Please, pay. Oh, merchant time. You have 120 caps exactly, so. You have. Only sell food. That's fine. I'm going to offload all of my garbage on you. <laughs> that's like a whole stim pack. Yeah, like, that's really not bad from my perspective. Oh, my combat shotgun's all busted. That sucks. Oh, jeez. I like using that. Oh. I'm going to have to get my stuff repaired. All right. Um. Let's see. Can I sell stuff? I'll sell the jet. Um, stealth boys are hard to come by, so I'm not going to sell any of those. I've learned my lesson. Oh, yeah, I'll hoard the Radex. Why not? I kind of sold everything already, didn't I? Yeah, I don't need to sell ammo. It doesn't weigh anything. All right, I'll just do that. Thanks, Mr. Robot. Vera Weatherly. Mind if I break into your... You're not even home. Yo, Vera, where you at, girl? I want to meet you. Mr. Handies are always great, but given that they come with a flamethrower, <laughs> I would not want to upset one. I mean, look, he is perfectly polite. I'm not going to bother him. He's not bothering me. There's just no... You There's no point, right? Oh, this desk has stuff in it. Ooh, I'll take some... Free caps. Hold on. Wrong button. Aerodynamic. Yeah, listen. I'm aerodynamic. What of it? I don't know how yes. to find Dr. Lee. Or the synthetic man. But if anyone's going to know about synths, it would probably be a doctor, right? Like, if I'm going to guess... Uh, I've already been this way. Let's try this way. I don't want to break into Dr. Preston's room. I don't really have a reason to. Was Preston one of the people trying to join the council? I don't remember now. Let's see. Yoo-hoo! Any doctors in here? You look like uh, doctors. Oh, hey, I found you! Hello. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. Ah, <laughs> yes. You're James's daughter, aren't you? What are you doing here? Looking for Papa. Um. You know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work... I feel like I recognize this voice on, actor. Even if your father hasn't. Is this the VA for Astrid in Skyrim? Uh, can you tell me more about my parents? Yeah, this is Fallout 3! I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? Girl, that tells me absolutely nothing. I know my mom's dead. Can you give me a crumb of context? <laughs> it's you. The one from my dreams. I mean, James's daughter. <laughs> uh, well, I never knew my mother. Can you tell- what, what, what can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was- well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. Oh, that's nice. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Aw. But, okay, why did she die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. Mm. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. Tragically, that, like, super tracks. Not Astrid? Wow. Um, yeah. I, like, I think that's one of the scarier things about the Fallout universe is, like, even with an auto-dock, like, that's not necessarily, like, 
you can still lose blood. There's so many things that can go wrong, right? Yeah, even now pregnancy is dangerous, right? Like, I'm not going to blame someone for that. Um, and, like, even in ideal circumstances, you're prepared. But sometimes, you know, people start being induced early by accident. like, you, And then you're scrambling. So I'm not going to hold it against you. Yeah, I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven, determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... Project P. I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Okay, but like, what is Project Purity, ma'am? You can't just be like, yeah, he wanted to try it and it didn't work out. Like, you can't give me jargon and not quantify it. Isn't this game's tech around the 1970s? I think it's more 1950s, but technically, the bombs dropped in 2070 something, I think. 2170 something. Um, I believe, if I remember right, in the Middle Ages, one in ten women died during childbirth. I believe that statistic, I could be, rem I could be misremembering. I believe the statistic is like using averages, which kind of messes with the numbers. But childbirth is like extremely risky for so many different reasons, even with all the modern technology that we currently have. Um, twenty two seventy six. Thank you. Yeah, I was like, I know it's like in the future. I just couldn't remember when. Um, yeah, tell me about this project you worked on with my father. What the hell is that about? 2077? Was it 2077? I knew it was like 7-7, seven, seven, but I couldn't remember much past that. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? What is, what is it? Like, what, what was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Oh. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Yeah, that's... Okay. I'm glad that Project Purity was clean water and not something worse. Are they like followers of the apocalypse, maybe? Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just too much. Maybe if we'd had more time or better equipment. Hmm. What did you think it was going to be? I don't know. I, I was afraid it was going to be something really, really dark, if I'm being honest. I was worried that it was like, oh, surprise, your dad's a war criminal. Um, I mean, maybe he still is. Who knows? Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. I hope Once you don't hold gone, that against me. We decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. I would the brotherhood work with you. Well, I guess clean water benefits everyone. Um I want to know more about you. So in other words, it's your fault. <laughs> Great! I love that uh, being an infant ruined everything. Wow! <laughs> what do you want to know? Oh, there's no followers of the apocalypse in this one? Aww. I like them. Oh, okay. Um, asking... Uh, uh, no, this is the one I want. What? Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Uh, interesting. Yeah, so what is this lab? Are you doing your purification thing on a smaller scale? Because you have a hydroponics lab, which is pretty rad. Um. So yeah, followers are West Coast. Okay, interesting. Kind of sad that the East Coast doesn't have that. I'll be honest. Like, that... 
<laughs> Sucks if you're on the East Coast, then. This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Uh, cool. What kind of place is Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society to make the world livable again. What do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Sounds like I need to find some older members of Rivet City because they'll probably have like a living memory of, of its history. Um. Yeah, so, so you've seen my dad. Where do I find him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Oh, uh, yeah, I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Yeah. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. But could, can you please tell me where he's gone, though? Because um, I can't go back to the vault. I will get schmurdered, and I don't want to get schmurdered. So can you just do me a solid? <laughs> Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Really? Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Tell me where the lab is, duh. Didn't he send you here? He said he left you in the vault, right? It's like, if he told you he didn't want me to leave the vault, why are you suddenly not surprised that I'm here, right? Like... It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Oh! Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. But why? Like, okay, so here's what I'm trying to figure out right now is... So, I think canonically my character is 17 or 18 at this point. 18 years is a sizable amount of time when it comes to scientific research, but like... At the other hand, don't just scrap the research you did. Water purification is vital, right? In in a in a in a situation where nuclear fallout has decimated the environment. Like that's such important work. She's 19. Thank you. I knew it was like somewhere in that range of like so it's been approximately, you know, counting like the pregnancy and junk, it's been approximately 20 years. Um, is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or you're chasing after him. I'm sorry. Okay, but like if I scratch your back, you can scratch my back, right? I was hoping this was Starfield. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's, it's really sweet everyone wants me to play that game. I have, I will say, I have been avoiding all streams about it and all spoilers about it so that when I play it, it'll be a first playthrough. Um, like I, I fully like going in not knowing anything playthrough. Um, I just, like, I don't know. I don't want to be buying games when I have so many other games to play first. <laughs> Isn't there anything you can do to help? All right, RNG Jesus, please. 78%. Come on. Fingers crossed. Cr fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Please. Please, please. I suppose yes. I can spare a few stim packs. Ah. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. Okay, well, I'll take it. Free stim packs are nice. Good luck finding your father. Yes. We don't know about your runaway robot. Okay, um... This lab is dedicated to solving Armitage. Just yes, wait for a yes, sale. Yes. Yeah, I don't mind waiting for a sale. I don't mind buying it full price either. Um, constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please stand aside. I should probably be paying attention to what they're saying. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. Oh, the android! <gasps> no! Oh, the synth! Where are they? They're in danger. You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. That's not facetious. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine. 
Hey there. Oh, he was still talking. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> I don't really care what he has to say. Um, I'll, yeah. Have you seen my dad? Look, some of us are trying. No. Coming through here. Okay. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. That's mean. Aren't you a doctor? <laughs> the Easter egg to the next Bethesda game. Oh. Um. I don't want to drink. Okay. Uh, Dr. Zimmer, you what's your here. deal? What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. I don't... Are you by any chance for hire? I don't mean to be rude, because aging is a blessing. But how dare you call me weathered, my man? <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, uh, okay. I guess maybe he means I look experienced, because I'd hope that's what he means. Um, yeah, I'm also on YouTube, Coda. Uh, what exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as oh, this is the guy who wants the robot. Very the the synth. Property. Hmm. What's the job? Ah, a woman of action. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Let me be clear. You won't be looking for a lost puppy or family heirloom. But I want to find a puppy. You'll be searching for an android. Do you know what an android is? No, I imagine you don't. You see, we've moved beyond those primitive buckets you call robots and have created... Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, like, even more. Sentient machines. Ugh. Artificial persons that think and feel what we've programmed them to. Occasionally, their programming miscalculates. They get confused and wander off. Hmm. This is feeling like, um... <sighs> What's that movie called? Blade Runner? Oh, yeah. Come in. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was like, this feels like Blade Runner. <laughs> Just with less neon. <laughs> okay. Um, Tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But... The Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. I don't know. I have an intelligence stat of like eight or nine, my man. I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty smart. <laughs> um, all right. You're not going to know the history of Rivet City, but I'll ask anyway. Looks to me like a Yeah, okay. I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android exactly? I know what an android is, but I'm hoping this guy gives me more information. I well, here's the thing though. I don't want to give it to everything him. Everything you know about robots, those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. Mm. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Okay, so any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me... I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Why are you even here, my man? If an, if this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Mm. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not mm. human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. 
Yeah, well, you know what? I'm already thinking he had every reason. Yeah, why would an android feel guilt? What aren't you telling me, my man? Thank you for that follow, Coda. By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Haha, -ha, you admit it, I'm smart. <laughs> I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. Wow, y'all are clowns. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? So then what did you make him do that would make him be like, oh, this is immoral, like... <laughs> Hello. Hello, I am the android sent to you by Cyberlife. Yeah, it's giving Detroit Become Human, except... Man, I'll say this much, I have a lot of feelings about Detroit Become Human. Not many of them are positive. <laughs> uh, okay, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different, mm. special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. Mm. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, mm. this android must be located at all costs the others are all acceptable losses but a321 he is irreplaceable mm. i want to here i have a i have a proposal for you armitage what if we just throw zim into that hole full of mire lurks what if, what if we just did that you know just like a silly goofy thought you know just a silly goofy friday night plan why not you know this guy sucks. All right, Armitage, what can you tell me, pal? That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh, you're... You're programming. We gotta fix that somehow. All right, so I need to do some snooping. Because I want to make it clear I'm not helping Zim. He sucks. Oh, no. God dang it! Uh, the game crashed. You got for friggin' kidding me. I'm so sorry, y'all. All right, give me a minute. I have to reload the game now. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> All right, who wants to get a crash, crash, uh, the, the, the count up? <laughs> Ivan, thank you so much for we're continuing your membership. I'm sorry you're coming in at a time where I have to reboot the game, but I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get the game back. Boom, 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 boom. Thanks for your patience, y'all. Sorry about that. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry. This is the the only one of the downsides of playing these older games is that uh sometimes they just they just don't want want to. <laughs> They just don't want to, don't, don't want to work. <laughs> okay. Um, give me one more second. I just got to make sure I have something working properly. Yeah, okay. I, oh god, I had a recent-ish autosave, but I might, I'm, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed through some dialogue again just to have it unlocked. Okay, Dave. Speeding through the dialogue. La 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 la. Speeding through the dialogue. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Ba ba da ba da. Ba 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 ba. Cool. Okay. I did it. We missed nothing. So I don't want to go to the mid deck. I have to break into Preston's office. I haven't actually found Preston yet, though. Um. 
That's Janice. I guess, oh, so I guess Janice works here. Interesting. This is the way out. Here we go. I did, I already talked to Lee, so I don't have to redo that, thankfully. Um, yeah, that's Lee. I need to go to Preston's office, which is hey there. here. So I just need you to mosey on over, pal. I just need you to, yeah, yeah, just, just mosey on down that, that, that road. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but okay. I'm only doing this because I want to find out where this synth is so I can help them. I'm still kind of hoping I can throw Zim in a hole somewhere because he's a pile of beans. I don't like him. Oh, shoot. He's just here? What time is it? Oh, it's late at night. No wonder his office is locked. All right, hold on. Let me just not... Because <laughs> I'm not outside, I can't tell what time it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for it to be a, a reasonable time and then talk to his, uh, Preston when he's awake, right? Because if I don't have to snoop, I don't want to have to snoop. Does that make sense? We'll wait. Uh... People are usually out and about like 8.30, I think. Yeah, there we go. That'll definitely work. You're not here still? Is he in the lab? Good to see you. Let's see. Are you in here, Preston? Hmm. What else do you want from me? Garza. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. You don't look like a scientist. No, no. I'm only here to help with moving things, lifting I think this equipment. is the synth. I'm no scientist. I simply help Dr. Lee in whatever way I can. I feel like you're the synth. Where the hell is Preston? Buddy. You've shown no reluctance to snoop before. Only because this guy seems fine. Like... I just want to talk to him. Yes, that's locked. There you are. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. What do you know about this android from the Commonwealth? That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. Sunset, hello. It was all just a rumor, a hoax, someone's idea of a practical joke. You're lying through your story teeth, was, Mr. Man. Was an android escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from some place called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. You're for sure lying, Mr. Man. Tell me more about this hollow tape about the android. Like I said, it's a hoax. No, it's not. Don't bother with it. Someone sent tapes like that to pretty much every doctor in the wasteland. None of us believed it. Hmm. You have any problems with thieves? Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a shout away. Now, if you've got any medical issues, let's hear them. Um. Oh, do you know anything about the history? Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. But I don't know the first thing about this place's history. Don't let my age fool you. I may have been around for a while, but I didn't spend all that time here. Okay. I don't trust you for a second, man. You're a lion, which I think is good because you're trying to protect your buddy, but... Now I have to break into your room because you won't tell me what I want to know. There we go. Metro ticket. Mm. Ooh, a pistol. I don't need to steal your gun. I need evidence. Hmm. I bet I have to look- I bet I have to hack his computer. Yeah. 
I need to hack his computer. Yes. Oh, I should have just waited for when he was asleep, huh? This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. I really love how goofy stealth is in these games. All right, don't mind me. I'm just going to be, you know, hacking your computer while you're right behind me. It's fine. Five of nine. Conducted? No. There we go, baby! Rivet City clinical system for doctor's eyes only. Authorized use will result in fine, confinement, or a possible banishment by order of the city council. Regional health hazards. Apart from the standard dangers, Rivet City provides a few uncommon problems for longtime residents. Lock jaw. Muscle spasms, especially of the jaw. from getting cuts on the rusty ship. Or, uh, oh! Like... Uh, buh, 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 tetanus? Red lung. Yeah, rust related. Okay. Fish poisoning. Occasionally someone finds a fish in the river and is dumb enough to try to eat the thing. <laughs> Interesting. Patient files. Bannon, still suffering from his social problem. Keep on penicillin and try to convince him to watch out in the future. A homie's got an STI? I think that's what that means. Brock, another day, another broken nose. Rare to see him as a patient, but at least the people he refers are still alive. Barely. Holly Cantelli, treatment for the steady stream of his addiction would, would be a steady income, but I can't waste the resources on him if he's just going to get hooked again. Seagrave Holmes, chronic case of red lung from all his repairs below decks. Prescribed a few hours of fresh air up top every night. Gary Staley, exhaustion. The man really needs to take a rest at some point, but then again, who doesn't? Trini, surprisingly healthy apart from the alcoholism and other chronic dangers of her line of work. Yes, they grow them strong in lamplight. One of these is the synth. Right? Why do I feel like it's Trini? Maybe. I don't know. I thought it was the guy who was working below uh, with Dr. Lee, because then, you know, they could keep an eye on him and make sure he'd stay safe. Um, how do I find this synth? Initially, I was like, I want to learn history, and now I'm like, I want to know what the hell's hey up there. with this synth. Nation's unconscious. Okay. Um. Hello. I'm going to have to just keep talking to people. You know what? Let's keep exploring this big old rust bucket of a city. Oh, I could hack into Dr. Lee's computer, but I don't know if it would actually have information that would help me. This is just uh yeah, that's just a sleeping area. The synth could be anyone. Yeah, I'm I'm I, I do think it's actually very fun to be like, "Oh, I have to like figure out who the synth is." I think this is a really fun quest so far. Very cyberpunk aesthetic yoohoo who's in here whoa y'all got a whole plane what the what's with all the freaky mannequins though what is this is this where the council meets this is just old world tech and pillars what is this capital preservation society Oh. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, who are you? Quite an impressive collection. This guy's going to know the history of Rivet City. I'm calling it. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Did you name yourself after Abe Lincoln in Washington, D.C.? Or were you just born like that? Yeah, it's an interesting collection indeed. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Mm-hmm. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. All right, I'll buy it. Which document's missing? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. 
It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. Not technically, actually. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Um, that signing was in Philadelphia. Oh, but then it probably was transferred to D.C. Wait, am I national treasuring this game right now? Let me take a leap of faith here. You want me to find it for you. Indeed I do. Without the declaration, the rest of these relics are almost meaningless. I must have it. Acquire the document for me, and you'll be awarded most handsomely. What do you think? Here's my thing. It's real risky to get a document like that and move it to a rust bucket on a river. But I am really interested in how this quest is going to go. So yeah, I'll bring it to you. Excellent. You won't regret it. I promise you. Imagine you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence. Oh, in yeah, that would make sense. The National Archives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have a few questions. I think, yeah, I think I'm Nicolas Cage. That's kind of fun. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. All this info on the Declaration, where'd you get it? I don't like secrets. Well, um, this is quite embarrassing, actually. I sent someone like yourself after the Declaration. She did some of the research for me, but now I haven't seen her in a few months. Ooh, drama. I wouldn't worry about it. Many have died for causes far less grand I don't think she died, my man. Think. Well, maybe she did. I don't know. Maybe she just took it for herself. What does it look like? A piece of what was called parchment, sort of a thick paper, has faded handwritten writing all over it. It's no more than two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. Okay, um, what do you think the history is behind this document? Hold on, I'm interested to see. Oh, this dialogue isn't voiced for some reason. Okay. Wait, was it in Maryland? After a ceremony, oh no, it for sure was not. There, singing the famous battle hymn known as the national anthem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is silent. not <laughs> this is From not American there, history. It was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. Thus began the Evolutionary War. You know, bud, you got spunk. I'll give you that. If anyone's wondering, um, the first capital of the United States was in Philadelphia. Um, so that's where the, the, the declaration was signed, but it took time for the declaration to be circulated, I believe. Also, it took time for the news to be spread because this was before telephones or telegrams. So not all the colonies knew about it for, like, months. <laughs> um, Paul Revere is a totally different figure, though, um, who has been very mythologized. <laughs> Certainly. Oh, can you show me how to get to the National Archives on my map? In the D.C. ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. No. Oh. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Why all the super mutants? Oh, God, that sucks. Here's my only thing. Wouldn't the Enclave have grabbed these documents? Because their whole thing is like old world government, right? Wouldn't they have prioritized these documents? You know what I mean? I feel like that's an oversight. Uh, do you know the history? You've got to know the history, man. You are... You are... You've been around the block. <laughs> it's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. Are you... I are you serious, man? I can't important it is compared to the capital's history. But maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. He don't know nothing that's useful. All right. I hope. Well, this is kind of unsettling. Um, a music stand, a chessboard. Got some cool doodads in here, Mr. Man. Oh, Abraham Washington's door. Let's see. 
Books, books, books. Yeah. Terminal, I can't hack that. I'm just, I'm sorry. The, the, your door wasn't red. Leave me alone. I thought I was allowed to look. Oh, who are you? You're just security? Okay. Hello. Man, this place got security everywhere. Science lab. Um, Bannon might have said something to me and I just wasn't paying attention. That's also, frankly, a possibility. Have I been here yet? No. The only downside is that everything looks very similar in here. Whoa! Someone got a big old motorbike in here? That's kind of rad. Pantelli. You were in one of the people in the, um... Computer. The doctor's computer. I'd rather be alone just now. Okay, May. I still have to figure out sister's deal. Broken terminal? Can I... No? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it was worth a try. What else can we find in here? Do do. Oh, I thought I saw a, a computer to hack. God dang it! <sighs> the game crashed again. I'm so sorry, y'all. Give me a second. That's crash number two! Crash number two. Okay. Time to get the game back. Ba bum ba bum bum. Ba 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 I like just saved in the hallway, don't worry. I've been auto saving a bunch today. Yeah, crash counters at a healthy two. Fingers crossed it doesn't get worse. Um, I hope nothing else dies on me, because that would suck. I've been doing my best with everything, but I don't know. I guess it should be fine, right? All right, let's see what else can we do. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I have the game. We're in here. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I, I had like just saved. Return to Moira. No, I don't want to return to Moira yet. I'm sure someone knows something. Good to see you. What's in here? Oh, gross. Why is there... Oh, is this like a chem lab? Someone cooking in here? Don't do that. You're putting your neighbors at risk. St. Monica's Church? I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. Who is this St. Monica? St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. There's a church in Rivet City? Oh, yes. Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. If you're the acolyte, who's the priest? Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. Father Clifford the Big Red Dog. Dr. <laughs> oh, is it Sunday? It is Sunday. Is he... Do you have anything to say, Mr. Man? Are you just going to stand there and look directly at me? I don't, I'm kind of scared. Why is he just making eye contact like that? I don't, hello. I am Father Clifford. This is St. Monica's church. Okay, who's St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon. Oh, I missed it. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. I don't really want to have to wait a whole week. Do you know any of the city's history? Any at all? Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell okay. on. Okay. But the future of its inhabitants. 
But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go, so Father. Thanks for your help. God bless you. Rectory door? Wonder what's in there. Seagrave Holmes, also somebody on Dr. Preston's list. All right, let's talk to Bannon again. I'm so sorry. I know it's it's been a minute since I played. Um, he said something. I just don't remember what it was. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council and with my leader. Of course, a few of those technicalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're on the city council. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential. That's tomorrow if you morning know what I mean. in game. I wonder if I can listen to their council. To the right That'd be kind of interesting. Um. Good to see you. Ah, I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away from my cuisine for long. No, I was looking for hot gossip, but you don't have any. Thank Who are you? Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? What's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. Why is James such a brat? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. <laughs> Girl, it's so she mean. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. Yikes. Uh, what's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. I would love to help her with that if there's an option. Uh, oh, do the men on the ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Aww. <gasps> are you and Diego in love? Well, one of us is. Aww. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. I'm right over here. Why can't you see me? Oh. Girl, I have some songs for you. Um, just seduce him? Ah. Uh. She should confess her feelings. I don't want to go for... I don't like these options. Like, I wish there was just a middle ground of, like, just tell him how you feel. Right? Like, just just tell him how you feel. So I don't want to... I don't want to say seduce. Because that's not the same as, like, being open and honest about how you feel. Right? You can also not force someone to love you. This is also true. But, like... Guess I'll say seduce and see what happens. Yeah, right. I don't think I could get him drunk enough to do that. I did not say I get him I drunk, girl! Balance. Trini says they would make any man lose control. That's not what we want to do here. Whoa, pump the brakes. That's not what... That's not the direction I wanted to go in at all. No. Just, just express your feelings, you psycho. Do you know any history? Oh, I'll try. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not doing that for you. I'm not making a man take pheromones, question mark, because that's icky. We're not doing that. Uh, have I been through this door? Yes, I have been through this door. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the, the options in this game are a little sus. Who are you? Ed? Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Uh, do you actually do anything here? You mean, like, fix stuff? I just meant nah. stuff in general. I just hang out, dude. I've got enough chems to last a while. Oh, yeah. Got it. Do you know any history? Lady, I don't... Yeah, okay. Yeah, Wait. yeah, yeah, yeah. That tracks. Amaya okay. Bye, Ted. <laughs> um... This place is 
kind of big. I feel like I haven't seen all of it yet. Hold on. I haven't seen Sister again yet, either. Oh, Zimmer's hotel door. Ah, we're gonna do a little... St now I know who Zimmer is. Let's, let's do some snooping. I've lost karma because the man who wants to steal someone and their free will... I broke into his apartment, his hotel room. Oh no, I can't believe it. I lost karma for this craziness. I don't like that I lose karma even if no one can catch me. I don't have anything good to dig up, even. What is this? Um. Guy doesn't even have anything. No, okay. Thought I'd give it a try at least, but he doesn't even have anything interesting. So, we're just gonna keep on going. Oh, is Vera in here now? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Have you heard any interesting gossip? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to chems. His poor wife, Cindy, is at her wit's end. Oh, you have any other rumors? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. That is not appropriate. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. I think that's the guy who has the rust lung problem. Oh! This is Brian's, um, aunt? Your nephew Brian lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. I think he'll love it here. Like, genuinely, this is so much better than where he was at. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. It is a little weird that she's, like, not mourning her relative brother? In-law? She found out her in-law's dead slash brother and is just like, oh, okay, I'll take I'll take my nephew, sure. It's like, girl, shouldn't you be, like, a little bit more sad? <laughs> like, homie is dead. Again? Crash number three, baby. Man. I promise you, I don't have a lot of programs running on my PC today. I guess Rivet City is just, um, just a big boy. All right, come on. We're gonna, we're gonna get ya. Get you in tip-top shape. I'm so glad I freaking auto-saved. I'm gonna just start saving when I get close to doors, because for whatever reason, when I get close to doors in this city, everything just... Bleh. Okay. Nope, okay. That's, that's another crash. I don't, I think that stairwell is haunted. I'm just not gonna go there. <laughs> Dang it. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not gonna do it. I because I think that just goes back to the marketplace. Um, which I don't super need to go through. Okay. Okay, so... Hmm. I need to go to that stairwell for something. But I really don't want to. Because it keeps crashing. I'm going to go a different way. Surely there's other ways to get where I need to go. Because what I want to do is go to the top of the deck. Good to see you. Because there's people up there. Security. 
midship. Midship should get me to top ship, right? Hold on, let me look at my map. Go this way. Oh, Cantelli's. I need to talk to them. Hello? Hey, Polly. How you doing, man? Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. Ha <laughs> ha! I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. You shouldn't take that stuff. It'll kill you. That's what Cindy says, too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. You know any history? Huh? History? What history? <laughs> no history here, girl. Why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Yeah, me too. I want to talk to your wife. Oh, my sir, my ma'am, this is not good. This is not good. You're having a rough go of it. Let me see if I can find your wife. Oh, what's in here? I've been here. Don't even think of breaking into that. This just goes back to the marketplace. And it crashed again. The stairwell is haunted. I don't think I can take that door. Um... Dang it. I don't know if I need to go to the marketplace. I don't know if that's like a requirement. Market can lead to exit. Okay. What I want is to go up. Like, outside. This is why I've been aggressively pressing F5. <laughs> Locked filing cabinet? Why is it locked? Oh, I need a higher lock pick. Okay. Hey there. Hey there. Why are Hello? you being so sensual? How do I get out of this place? I've been here already. Wait, I'm just going in circles. It's the same stairwell. How do I get to the top of the ship? I'm so confused. Aft hanger. Midship deck, upper deck. There's... I've been to the upper deck then. The upper deck... Is this door? So how do I get to the top of the, the the flight deck? Let's see here. I wanna find the flight deck. Bum 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 bum. How do I get to the flight deck? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, let me talk to Diego again. Maybe I can be like, hey, man. Look so tough. Um, there's a lady who's like into you, into you. This is not where the church is. Okay, let me look at the market hangar. Rivet City, Upper Deck, Rivet City. Find the church and then exit there. This is where the hotel is. I do wish that there were more... ...markers on the map so I could know what I was looking at in context. Hey there! I don't remember where the church is now. There's an exit in the market. I don't even want to risk going to that stairwell again because it keeps crashing, but I'm going to try just one more time because I'm really stupid and stubborn. Oh! 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 It worked! It worked! It's not cursed forever. Okay, okay. I don't know if this is, like, where I need to be, but let's see. Bridge tower! I did need to be here. Oh, capital. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go this way. 
the little chair. Save. Open. There we go. Let's go! Thanks for hanging, soul. That's the door to Rivet City. Door to Rivet City. Flight deck! One up here. I'm impressed that these planes are in, like, pretty good working order. Um... Y'all seeing any people? I'm not seeing any people, but maybe I'm out here at the wrong time? Oh, here's some people. Oh, they're children. Hello, small child. What's your problem, lady? Steal some ammo? No. I'm not gonna make you steal oh, ammo for me. Yes, miss. I don't want to turn this kid into a criminal. Oh, bridge tower. Oh, I was already here. This is conf is this just the other way to the? That's just also a way out. So then, what's up here? Yoo-hoo! Hello? Security? I guess this is the security bunker? Yeah, this is like the guard tower. Um, are these all ways out? Yes, so then what happens if I keep going up? Private Jones? Sir, yes sir! Private Jones reporting! Uh... At ease, Private. I'm here to inspect the armory. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory. Sir! Please don't make me shoot you, sir! That's fair. Will you shoot me if I just look around? Didn't someone mention under the ship? Yeah, there's like Meyer Lurks. I wanna go, um... Fight them. Still gotta figure out the story behind that synth, though. Cause Preston wasn't super... ...giving on information. I think I have to like, meet everyone on his list, basically, and figure out which of them is actually the synth. But then I want to let them know that, like, they're being hunted, and I want to help them. Man, I don't know why I'm struggling with this one. It's like an easy terminal. <laughs> Two of fine with five with cons. I'm gonna guess N, S, or A. Probably A. Not S then. Maybe not A? Hmm. I don't know what I'm looking for. Do 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 do. Replenish my allowance, please, game. Bam. All right, we're just gonna have to try again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, all this should not be hard. I'm like not. For some reason, the easy ones are harder for me. There we go. Okay, security log. Two more reports of Meyer Lurk noise coming from the bow section. This isn't 
There isn't a dang thing that can be done about it. As soon as we clean out one nest, another moves in. I just wish everyone would stop complaining about it. Rolling on the flight deck is still broken. Brock got in a fight with that sister character. If it happens again, I'm gonna have to kick sister off the ship. Caught James Hargrave stealing food at Gary's galley. Tammy paid the fine, although she blistered my ears the whole time. Aw, James, what are you dealing with, my man? That's probably the armory. Anyone up here? Yeah, no. Somebody's on the flight deck at night. That was something that was reported to me. Don't remember their name. It was also in the um doctor's log, but I don't know where they would be. Oh. Thanks for the free ammo. Hmm. Hmm. I will say, it's kind of refreshing to have a game that's not like, here's your next quest marker, go here and do something about it, right? Like, I like that I'm kind of having to figure it out for myself. I personally find that quite... I'm guessing this is where the council meets? I'm finding that quite um, refreshing. Wait, there was a... Any trouble in this area? Any enemy marker? Oh, here, you! Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Why wouldn't I remember you? Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. Oh, no! That's so sad! I- why- why can't I have a better option? These are all so toxic. What? I regret talking to this guy at all. This is just cruel. I, uh, I don't even... Uh, huh? These are all bad. The second one is so mean. Like... I need to stress so much. All of these are not appropriate answers. Um... I'm gonna say the second one, I don't agree with it. Um, but it's the only one that's not like, yeah, do it. Like, oh god. You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. <gasps> what about Ted? He needs guidance. Who's Ted? <laughs> I don't Ted Strayer. Yeah. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. Thank you, stranger. Yeah. Someday, maybe I'll get courage. Oh, that breaks my heart. I hate that I had to talk to him like that, though. That was not nice. I had a red enemy mark. Why do I have a red enemy mark? Is the robot man gonna fight me? It's gone. Another glorious day in this man's army. Which man's army? Okay, well, I'm glad I helped Lopez out. That was depressing. Um, that was sad. Okay, I need to... Gosh, getting out of the flight deck takes a while. No! Uh, you wanna guess what just happened? You wanna guess what just happened? I'm losing my mind. Everything's breaking. Blah, 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 blah. I don't, I hope I don't have to come back here. <laughs> God dang it. <sighs> oh, Rivet City, you vex me, you fickle mistress. Okay. I vaguely remember Ted now. Because I thought Strayer was an interesting name, and I had a, like a head, like, ca head cannon of like, what if he's the android? Still don't know who hears the synth. Hello! Oh, now I have to go all the way back down? God dang it. All right. I also still don't know how to get to the section with the Meyer Lurks, but if I'm going to do that, I got to repair my shotgun. But repairing my shotgun is going to be super de duper expensive. Hey! Yeah, there is a, there's a stair on the outside, but I don't know if it's going to be any better. I'm like already here. 
We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Hooray. Um. I just go down here. What's down here? I still haven't been to Muddy Rudders. Who are you? Oh! Whoa. What's the rush, dude? Oh, I guess I can't tell you about Lopez. You have a papa now. Why are there just bottles in the bathroom? Are you guys peeing and drinking at the same time? I haven't been to the Muddy Rudder yet, I don't think. Yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. Nice place you have here. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? Heard any good stories lately? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. Is Polly really addicted to chems? Oh, yeah. Girl, you just gossip with me! I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Oh, have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. Oh. Please share a story. Come on, Orange Jesus, please. I don't want to have to reload for this. No, I can't fucking yes! well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. If it'll get you out of my face, go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Why are you being so mean? Where's James? I've got to go find my brat. I'm Tammy. Have you seen my good for nothing son lately? The little shit is usually up to no good. You're a... Uh, I'm going to the Muddy Rudder for a drink. Yeah, uh... You're not nice. Don't... Don't like you that much. Shit. Just what this hole needs. Another woman. Girl, what? Either buy me a drink or take your skanky ass somewhere else. Oh my god! Did he pick you? Did he pick you? Girl, get out of here with that nonsense. Sure, you know what? I'll give you five caps. I'm curious. Because she was in Preston's um computer, so I need to eliminate her as a possible synth. I guess you're okay. Thanks for the drink. Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? Can't help you with the history, honey. Alright, fine, Trini. I don't I don't think you're who I'm looking for anymore. I was thinking maybe she's like mean for the sake of protecting herself, but now I don't know. <laughs> Hey, don't tell me your problems. I okay. That's fine. Give me another drink. I I I was just saying hello. I've never seen that. She usually flirts with you if you're a male character. Yeah, cuz she's a pick me. <laughs> like dictionary definition front and center. Just hiding whiskey bottles in a carriage. Okay, well, on the bright side, I did get the information I was hoping to get, so that worked out. Um, I still don't know how to get to the bow of the ship, though. And that's where all the Meyer lurks are. Excuse me. Alright, let's go talk to um, Diego, and maybe I can save him from getting attacked. And we can just talk about feelings instead. Have you seen my good for nothing son? Uh, me, Ted, be, 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 be. I'm just taking up space here. That's the stairwell of doom. That's where stream goes to crash. Um Church. Hey Broken ship, easy underwater entrance. Oh, uh, do I jump down from that open part of the ship? Is that how that works? Oh, is he not here now? Dang it, Diego. Where did you go? Mm. Maybe he's eating food? For a reason. 
Turn around. I need to see if Seagrave is is suspicious. Come on. Go on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Any that works too. This area? No, it's upstairs. Go upstairs. Go away. Dang it. Good thing I got some extra bobby pins. There we go. Oh, I lost karma again. Why? What secrets is Seagrave hiding? Seagrave the synth I'm looking for? Not illnesses. Let's try... Hmm. I'm not really finding any duds in this one, so we're gonna have to keep trying. Yeah, stop doing your job, officer. <laughs> Ooh, requiring. So... I in mm. definitely like an R I N G situation. Just have to find my allowance replenisher. If they've even gifted me that boon, they haven't. I gotta get my hacking up, man. Hmm. Bam! There we go. All right. Third time's the charm. Bannon. Dr. Lee, we both know that Bannon does not have the best interests of Rivet City at heart. He is only interested in making a profit. He would sell his own children if he had any for an extra bottle cap. He needs to be removed. I would be glad to step forward as his replacement. Seagrave, I do not wish to get pulled in down into petty political bickering. Bannon has not done anything wrong. If the time ever comes when he does something truly harmful to Rivet City, the other council members will look into it. Until then, I have a lab to run. I had an idea for a survival weapon. There are all these railroad spikes laying around the wasteland. I ought to be able to build some sort of slingshot to fire them like bullets. I tried some really big rubber bands, but that didn't work. I wonder if I could use steam as a power source. That's right. I'm remembering now. This guy's whole deal is like, Bannon sucks. Let me run this rust tub. Which I would gladly do if I could figure it out. Um, I would love to figure out how to get Bannon out because he stinks. That's right. That's the chem room. Um. Hey there. You, where is Diego? God, finding anyone in this rust bucket is so hard. This place is awesome. The navigation part, not so much. I mean, there are signs everywhere. I want to go to that outside section, and I don't remember how to get there. Shoot. From what Bannon says, he's the only thing keeping this together. I don't believe him, because he's the one who's been mucking with all the votes. Like, every time they try to vote for something important, he's the one who, like, votes it down. He just wants taxes on everything. Bannon's only interest is Bannon. He doesn't care about Rivet City. He cares about petty power, and I have no respect for that. Is this the way? We'll try Rivet City Market again. Market, thank you! Yeah, let's just try the market then. Maybe I'll find Diego in the market. Maybe he's eating, because it is like dinner time. Oh, and you know what? I gotta repair my stinking shotgun. I really don't want to have to shell out the caps for this, but I also need to live. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Okay. <gasps> I'd like to report someone! If someone took your stuff, otherwise... Oh, okay. Never mind. I heard that Rivet City is run by some sort of council. 
Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Hmm. Did you know that Paul is an addict? Yeah, he's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Oh, that's sad. Okay, I need yeah. you to repair my if stuff, you please. Want any of this shit, just say so. Otherwise, keep your fingers. Buddy, chill. What you? Um, I think I have anything to sell you, but I would like to do repairs. Let's have I'm so scared. How expensive this is going to be. Oh, 180 caps is not bad. You know what? I have the caps. Let's just repair my stuff. Um. You have ammo? Because what rounds does my sniper take? 308. Oh! I need these. Thank you. Amazing. Um, what other ammo am I hurting for? Uh, I'm actually okay. I'm not. I don't want to spend too much on ammo right now. Spend all my caps repairing my gear. Custom. Thanks. Okay, and then the yeah, Rivet City this way. No. Yes? Yes. There we go. Oh, I'm scared. It is so dark now. It's like too dark. Is this the way to get where I want to go? Am I correct? Or is this a horrible idea? Cause I, I was thinking this is how I get to uh the 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 guy from Moira's quest. Wait, does he show up on my map? Oh! Yeah, alright, but this water's gonna be all gross, so I do need to... wear my environment suit. Alright, Geronimo! Hopefully nothing tries to eat me. I'm just waiting for a bunch of Mirelurks to show up and start gobbling my toes. Um... Just keep going this way? Is this the right way? This feels like the wrong way. Is there a tunnel in the ship that I'm missing? It's probably in the ship, isn't it? <laughs> I promise my sense of direction isn't horrible. Dow, thank you. It's like this way, ain't it? I can always reload my save if I'm like turning into a irradiated creature. a submarine? I missed it. Is it in this section and I'm just not seeing it? Maybe it's because it's dark. Oh, it's underwater? But the water's dark. Like, I can't see under the water um at the marker that's above me i'm so sorry y'all i'm sure you're like annoyed as hell is that it no that's a building I'm gonna just struggle, and then I can always reload the save once I figure out where I'm going. Is this it? There we go! Am I still underwater? I'm drowning. Okay, cool. I'm gonna- I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, thank you for helping! Um... Ah... Uh, oh! Autosave! Are you kidding? 
Okay, hold on. Before it loads me into that section again. <laughs> now I see it. Now I see it. How the hell am I supposed to talk to a corpse? Right. Here goes. How do I... There we go. Okay, I found air. Okay, okay. Cool. How do we... Fix... This. What a stinking mess. Get me air. Oh, there's a... There's a red thing on my map. This doesn't feel good. I am suddenly very concerned for my well-being. Oh boy, let me also take some uh, rad resistance stuff. Getting stuck. God dang it. Frick. Game. I'm getting stuck on everything. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. Oh. All right. Why would you live like this, sir? Did anyone know that this was like this? I am now sick with minor rad poisoning. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ugh. Dang it. All right. Come on. Dang it. Ding dang Meyer lurks and their ding dang grossness and their friggin' god. Oh, god! Shoot! There's another one. <sighs> I can't do this anymore. All right, well, let me put on my, uh. Oh, I didn't have my suit. Oh, well. All right. No wonder I'm getting sick. I forgot to put it back on. My bad. Why do I feel like these guys ate that poor man? Like, he's for sure eaten, right? Thank gosh, there's a stim pack. Um... I'm not confident that this guy is gonna be alive. Which feels bad. Okay, if I go this way, and then I go this way, and then I go this way. I just did a big old loop. So how? Oh, mm. Haven't tried going up these stairs yet, have I? Hello? Mr. Man? Oh, this doesn't look good. This looks like it's gonna explode if I shoot something. You know what I mean? Oh god, what the hell? Quick wire. Why do you have this place all booby trapped, mister? Oh, Fragmines, my beloved. Take all your purified water, too. Um. Rigged shotgun. Thanks for the stuff. Why is this place the way that it is? Oh, God. Dang it. Um. Buddy? Why are you living like this? Got any more traps I gotta worry about? Hello? 
you're dead, that's not gonna be good for my research. I mean, it also won't be good for you. It'll be bad for a zillion different reasons. Books, books, books. Milk bottle. Books, books, books. Computer. Switch. What does this button do? Ooh. Well, let's 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 read this first. Oh, god dang it. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, hey, pal, you're not dead? You live like this? What? Sir? You want to explain the bloody skeleton? Sir? Hey! You want to... You want to explain that? Oh, God. All right. Hello. Why do you live like this, Pinkerton? How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. What are you doing here in this wrecked part of the ship? I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. Mm -hmm. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. Mm -mm. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. What kind of work do you do in here? The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. Mm. <laughs> I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. So you're the adventurer. After all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. What a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. Okay. Uh, you want to tell me about the city's history? What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. I hear they're the only one who knows the truth about Rivet City's founding. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. You were in the council? Setting the record straight. Setting the record straight is exactly my goal. For that... You have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck. About 40 years ago. Oh. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. So you used to be in charge? How did you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters mm. like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. What do you know about Project Purity? Academia is very competitive. I mean, part of me can understand where he's coming from. Like, he risked life and limb to get this place up and running. And so then to have some, you know, from his perspective, an upstart basically replace him. I, I, can, I can see why you would be bitter. Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee has been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though... My teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Do you have any hard evidence of all of this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here, they probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. I wonder if I can edge out Lee and then have her work with my dad again. Don't let your guard down. 
I really want to take your oh, Dean's electronics, on. but then you'll Pay shoot me in the face. Uh... I'm guessing... It's a shame I can't convince him to help them, though. Bottle cap mine? That sounds like a waste of money. Sneaky steal it? Nah, not worth the effort. Dang. If you don't mind living amongst Meyer Lurks, this is not a bad setup, my man. But the thing is, though, like, what he's supposedly researching is equally as important as clean water, in my opinion. Like, yes, being able to float and defend yourself is super important, but, like, so is clean water, you know? Like, it all has its uses. Not a lot of air, I'd imagine, yeah. Oh, god, the heck? My man, you're so paranoid. Why? Oh, now I gotta get out of here. This is a bunch of beans. Don't mind me, just taking all your weird rigged explosives. Oh, it sucks that I can't unlock that door. I'm gonna have to go the long way out. Well, time to not drown. I hope. I hope those are the only Meyer Lurks. I think so. Is this the way out? No, it's this way. No? Uh, hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm getting all turned around in here. You can unlock the door upstairs. Oh, the switch unlocks it? Wait. Where? Thank you so much. Hold on. Oh! I didn't even think to look for that. Oh, thank you so much. You just saved me a huge headache. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm kind of interested to go to that council meeting only because, um, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. what am I trying to say? Only because like it's gonna be tomorrow in the context of the game. I'm far from Rivet City. Okay, I missed stuff with him. Shoot. What did I miss? Toby, no worries. Hello. It's all good. Hold on, I have to go back through the death trap. Where are you, Mr. Buddy Man? Yeah, let's see what dialogue I missed. Thank you for letting me know. I thought I exhausted it all. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. Who's they? Yeah, no, he doesn't have any more dialogue. I used it all. I. Like I care what you savages. Are yeah, he doesn't have anything else to say. What? <laughs> yeah. Hey, be more careful. Yeah, maybe I have a quest that I missed or something. Okay, so let's go back to Rivet City. Yeah, I want to go to where the meeting is, but I don't... Is it... Was it up in the flight deck? Is that the room that they meet in? No worries, Morglord. Thank you for hanging. It's gonna... Oh, shoot. It's nighttime, so I guess it's locked now. Oh, dang it. 
Oh, I haven't listened to that hollow tape yet. Can I ask you to let me in the city? Hey. Is there a problem? I can't get in. Oh, this is too early. All right. Um. Give me a minute. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. I know it's locked. I want to go inside. They're all eating breakfast and get. There we go. I'm gonna listen to um the request for help. But how do I get to where the council meeting is? Is that up in the flight deck? If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... No I need to have my to memories report, erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Yeah, it's the bridge, right? Okay. So I gotta go to the crashing stairwell. Hey there. Hi there, ho there. Alright, come on, game. I'm gonna just run at it and hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ho, ho, ho! Let's go! Victory! Bridge tower, right? Good to see you. Because they meet up here, am I right? Oh, you can skip the stair by doing the main entrance? Was that not the main entrance? Is the marketplace, en mar marketplace entrance not the main entrance? <laughs> Have I been doing this wrong? It, yeah, this is where they meet, right? This feels like a council meeting room. Dottie, hello! Oh. I don't know if I, I don't think I've hacked into this yet. Mm. No. Get all the duds now that I got my allowance back. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Duds, 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 duds. Okay. Small was the furthest I got. There we go. Jeez. There's a door right next to it outside the ship. I'm in ding dong. God dang it. Oh, I've already read this. Okay. Um. What time do they have their council meeting? Why is there a red dot on my map? I'm getting the feeling I'm in the wrong spot. I don't think this is right. Maybe I should just follow Dr. Lee around? Oh, no, they're just security people. Maybe a quick fix has something that will help you. This is it, but it's nothing really interesting. But I thought they were supposed to be here in the morning, and it's Fully the app. Was I too late? Did I have to really be inside the ship? Oh, well, I don't really. I was like interested to give it a try, but I don't feel like making it like work work. Gotta be saving more. All right. 
Oh, I need to physically wait? Uh... Oh, this is not gonna... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm not too worried about it. I can't imagine it would be, like, that illuminating. I'm also not any closer to figuring out this android situation. Yes? Like... Yes? Don't tell me you're... Rock, why are you here? You're working the... Uh... B -b 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 I'm looking for Other troublemakers. Place. Have you seen it? I also haven't seen Polly's wife Good yet. I want to go to the church. I want to talk to Diego. Yeah, so I can avoid the stairwell by going outside. I'm going to have to figure that out. Hey, Diego, are you Hello? hanging around? God bless you and keep you safe. I hear Angela has a crush on you. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. Oh, but like he likes her, right? Uh You're kind of like why not why not have a chance at love? Father Clifford says she is my trial, my temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. Oh. Well, I can't change his mind, so I'm not going to, you. right? Like I don't I don't want to get in the way of that if that's what's important to him. May Saint Monica bless you. <gasps> That's so mean. You can just force Diego to be like removed. I don't want to do that to him. That's not nice. That's the chem room, right? Hello. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. Okay, let's to go it. to the science lab. Yes. Because here's my struggle. I. Yes? Hey. Oh, I wonder if I can talk to Lee about, uh, what's his face? Pre uh, B B Pinkerton. What else do you. I've already told you everything. What do you know about Zimmer? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Got nothing to say about Pinkerton. Okay. What's that next to the locker? There's a lot of lockers. This thing? I don't got a clue. <laughs> okay, hold on. I... I want to talk to Preston again. Preston is at the clinic. But the clinic's not on this floor. The clinic's on the next floor. Hold on. Upper deck. Can I come from the upper deck? That's where I just came from. Don't touch the vegetables. They're fragile. Oh. What am I missing? Hold on. Which lockers am I supposed to look yes. at? What am I? Oh, wait. I'm allowed to take the bobblehead? I won't get in trouble? Ooh. My intelligence increased by one. How much of a smarty pants am I now? Nine! Look at me, I'm a genius. I'm coming for your dad your job, Dad. Yeah, I can put it in my house, because I have a little thing for that. Yeah, the Weatherly is this, yeah, same floor as the clinic. So, Preston. 
Hey. Hi. Oh wait, you're Yes. This place won't clean itself. No That's one's going to get mad at me if I open this now that it's not considered locked, right? God bless you. Cool. Oh wait, no, but this isn't his computer. That's his computer. You're hurt. Fortunately, this is a medical clinic. Why Stop looking at me. You can't see me. Go away. What's the big idea? I just want to get the list of names again. That's all. You know, I still haven't found Hargrave. But only for a short time. They need their rest. Later. Oh, I was detected. Whoops. I just want to see the names. Bannon is not the synth. Brock won't ever talk to me. Holly's just an addict. Staley's being adopted by the other guy. It's got to be Seagrave, but I can't find him. Where is Seagrave? Hey. His apartment I have found. Maybe I have Everything to wait for him okay to here. sleep. He's in the market. Because I can't, no one else has like any dialogue that would really help me here. So let me talk to Seagrave. You're a lowlife, but if you keep your nose clean, we'll let you stay. Who's calling me a lowlife? I ain't done nothing. Welcome to Rivets. Take a look around. I got all kinds oh, of stuff. Oh, it can't be him. Oh, wait. It is. You know anything about the mind wipe on that escaped android? Shh. They might be listening. <gasps> Commonwealth right. has tried to make it out to be a hoax. But the escaped android is real, I tell you. Listen to this holotape. It will make you a believer, too. I already... I already have a holotape. Wait. You're not... Does he forget that he's an android? Remember that secret android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. What the they heck? They had the lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm any closer to knowing what the hell is going on, though. Um, you know what? While I'm here, let me sell my food stuff. Welcome to Gary's Galley. I also still haven't found What's-His-Face's wife yet. Um... A pleasure doing business with you. Oh, talk to him again? That's actually not a bad idea. Take a look around. I got... He doesn't have anything else to say. Uh, where do I find... Hey. Centelli's wife. She wasn't in their apartment when I was last there. Hmm. That's Mei Wong, right? Hey. Oria Watts. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions. Investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I think we found our I'd android. Really like Look, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? Oh. What would you have me do? You really want help? Yeah. Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Okay. 
present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe oh. you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Hmm? Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Can I like work for them? Yeah, what is this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. Okay. He looks human. He acts human. He believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought mm -hmm. and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. I was not planning to, I assure you of that much. Oh, <laughs> Can I join the railroad? Tell you what, you deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and oh. you can consider yourself a member in good standing. But can I, like, actually do stuff with you? You know. It sounds like she's like a random event type character because she mentioned Rivet City, I guess on the assumption that you might not be here. I hope I can find more of them because I think Zimmerman sucks. <laughs> I don't want to help him at all. What else do you want from me? Hey, pal. Yes? Ah, I trust you have... We considered and wish to assist with the retrieval of my android. She can pop up anywhere. That's what I kind of figured. Um, is your wallet as big as your mouth? <laughs> um, I'm not sure how it is up north, but around here, we get paid for our work. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. Mm. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. The android is dead. Here's an internal component. What? Let me see that. This is a neuro servo, unique to the A321. I. And you say you got this from his corpse? Yup. I suppose mm -hmm. there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it. I was afraid this would happen out here in this, this wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your trouble. Only 50? Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. You're lucky I don't drown you in the friggin' river. Suck. Oh, hey, I got karma, though. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. I pity you, sir. You could have a much more fulfilled life than working out with him. It was complete and never found out who it was. I mean, look, she she told me not to pry. I'm not going to pry yeah. anymore. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Because for me, I wanted to know who it was so I could be like, hey, there's someone who's you know, looking sister, for you. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother me. Not sister, is it? No. I don't think the gun you get is all that good. I don't know. Let me see what I get. A scoped magnum, question mark? But aren't you curious? Yeah, but listen, that lady was like, hey, don't snoop. So I was like, yeah, okay, bet. Like... <laughs> oh, no, there's a different ending? Wait, what did I mess up? <laughs> she, the game was like, don't keep snooping. Oh, if you side with Zimmer? I'm not going to side with Zimmer. He sucks. Okay, I was afraid I did something wrong. I don't want to side with Zimmer. He can chew rocks. Don't snoop. You're a dog. Snoop is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> There's several endings. That one's boring. I don't... Okay. Thank you for letting me know. And now I have to load a... Oh, uh, dang it. I don't remember how far back this is. 
Continue to search for clues or tell Zimmer he's dead. There's no other clues. I don't have any other leads, do I? Hold on. I have an intelligence of nine. I can figure this out. Let me talk to Preston again. Maybe if I'm like, hey, I know about the railroad. Okay. Will you help me help you? He was in here. Preston! No, um... Evening. Here. You don't look so tough. I'm eating right now. If you're hurt, I'll be back in the clinic shortly. Go back to the hermit? So, I do have a question. How would I know to go back to him? Oh, Seagrave. Let's see what Seagrave has to say. That's my only thing. Like, I'm all for not giving me quest markers, but at least give me a crumb. Let's see if Seagrave knows anything else. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any idea. Take a look around. I got you all kinds of stuff in here. No. See you. Yeah, Lamp, I would like a lead, because I don't, like, I'm trying to, I'm, like, scratching my head, right? Because the game basically gave me, like, hack Preston's computer, get a bunch of leads from that, chased all the leads. The only lead that had anything to say was Seagrave. And all he did was give me a, a tape. Try Pinkerton again. Uh, I have to go all the way back there. <laughs> God. I would never have thought to talk to him again, though, if I'm being honest. All right, this time I'm going to save myself a hassle. I can't believe I never friggin' checked the stairwell before. Um, although, no, I don't need to be here. I can fast travel to him. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. I have to go here. It's the only reason I brought it up. Thank you. It's like, I don't know why I would have thought to be like, oh, yeah, surely Seagrave will know. Like, he didn't want to talk to me. Oh, I can't fast travel there. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you. All right, fine. I'll just swim to it. It's a it's a walk. There's like a little walkway. Yeah. Pinkerton. Oh, it's right. Yeah, he did tell me he was a world class surgeon, and there was a skeleton on his table. So that all tracks. Interesting. Well, time for a little jaunt. Wait, is there a light here? Oh, because it's a intersection. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why is there a traffic light if it, like there's a river? But no, that makes sense. I did talk to Pinkerton, but I think I did the quests out of order because he didn't really have much to say to me. Outside of the history of Rivet City, which is information I was looking for, so that was helpful. Um, so let's see what he'll tell me. And then I have to also get that kid here because that poor child is just living in the wreckage of his, his childhood home. Um, so I do want to go back to, uh, Brian, question mark, and tell him to come here. Oh, what the hell? What the frick? Why is a super mutant chasing me over here? Why is he throwing bombs at me? What, in tarnation? Why are you over here, Mr. Man? Weird. It's one of those classic RPG quests you're supposed to work out yourself. Which, don't get me wrong, I do like that a lot. I think... I don't know. I guess you're right. He did say that he did science and surgery, so I could have put that together. I'm so glad I have this door unlocked. Thank you for telling me about that, because having to go all the way through the water would have sucked. Pinkerton. Ow, buddy. Hello. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. I still don't know who they are. He also doesn't have any more dialogue. Well. <laughs> hmm.
Maybe I did the quest out of order and I broke it. Oh, does he have a PC? You know? I didn't think to look before. Um. Yeah, he doesn't have any dialogue Stay about sharp. the... Um... Android at all. I... Like... It's all just... Don't. Hmm. Alpha, hello. Hold on, let's go check his uh, quarters, maybe? Maybe he has a computer in here and I just didn't notice. He definitely should, so something's wrong. Dang it, that sucks. This quest can't really be broken unless you kill someone. So then what did I do wrong that he won't talk to me? What? I must have missed something, like, in the game's internal logic. Um, I'd love to not have to reload all that work, but let's keep looking. There's gotta be a computer in here. Oh my god! That's secure for a reason. But it requires a key. So... I need to find a, a holotape key, don't I? I'm missing a hollow tape. Oh, dang it. Thank you for looking it up. There should be a password. Oh god, the hollow tapes are so hard to find because they're so tiny. Is it sitting on something? All right, gang, keep your eyes peeled. Let me know if you see something that looks like a hollow tape. So I need all three holotapes to trigger it. Oh, thank you so much for looking this up, by the way. Moira has one? That did sound like her voice, didn't it? Wait. Let's try that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I also want to turn in her quest anyway. Um, yeah, of course, of course it's Moira. All roads lead to Rome? No, all roads lead to Moira. Um, you know what? First up, let me talk to that poor child in Great Itch and just be like, hey, guess what? You have a new home and it's not infested with ants. Where's that kid? Brian? I think he's hiding in here, right? Nope. Was he in his house? forget. I think this was his house, right? No, this was his neighbor's house? No, he's in here. There's a body. Hey, kiddo. I hope you found me a place to live. I did! Vera said she'll take you in. You really found her? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much! Mm -hmm. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. I do feel like, don't be wrong, having to do an escort quest would suck, but like, how does this kid get there in one piece? Like, insanity. Also, kiddo, I'm happy to help. Just be clear about your problems next time. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, you know what? While I'm in town... Yes? Good to see you. Um, I can go put my bobblehead in my house. I wish there were more people like you. Oh, the hi, thank you. I want you to have this. Okay. Deviled eggs, yum yum, thank you. Bobblehead. Man, there's so many of these that I have to find still, yikes. Uh, where is my bedroom? Here is my bed. Might as well sleep. I haven't let my poor character sleep in so long. You ever do that? Like, 
for streaming purposes, I don't want to bog down stream time, but offline when I play role playing games, I always try to make sure my character has a place to sleep because I like feel bad. <laughs> you know, they're always running around. It's like, let's give you a bath and a meal, bud. You know? All of us here think. Oh, dang. Do you do this literally every day? Shoot, thanks. The holotape is in Moira's? Oh, she doesn't just hand it to me? That's fine. Thank you for letting me know. I, like, I like trying to figure things out for myself. I never would have known to look for this. <laughs> Thank you so much. All RPGs characters have fatal familial <laughs> insomnia. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, in some games you can't, but when it, the option presents itself. You have cute ears? Thank you. I appreciate that. They, they wiggle. When I blink. It's like looking for the Dwemer puzzle cube. Oh, yup. Mm -hmm. Junk is any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? <laughs> After a lot of searching, I've got the real history of Rivet City. Aha! Uh -huh. Not uh -huh. just as easy as asking around, was it? Yeah. Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So tell me all about it. It's also in the doctors. Got it. Thank you. It began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, Hi, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from oh. them in the future. I don't care about the Mentats, that's great. Oh, final chapter. I've got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Ooh. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. Ooh. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So what'll it be? Um. Let's do old technology first. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. Ooh. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. What? Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology. That sounds it? very dangerous. I don't think you should just give that information to strangers. Um. Yeah, but okay, I can do that, sure. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Oh, do you know who did the memory transfer on the escaped android? See, I thought it was Moira's voice in that tape, but I thought maybe they just reused the VA for a different character. I heard a rumor a while back that it was some guy named Pinkerton at Rivet City. Oh. Apparently he's got some sweet tech stashed on that boat. Okay. Let's talk about those robots. Oh, um, I haven't been there yet. Okay. Um. I have a few things to sell. That should help me now. Okay, so the game did give me options. I just had to leave Rivet City. I, in my mind, I was like, oh, the solution will be physically in this place. And it's like, no, you got to go further afield, bud. So that's good to know. Um, I don't need the 32 pistol because the hunting rifle uses the same ammo. Purified water. So I won't keep the Nuka Cola. I won't keep the eggs. Um. Cool. Thanks, Moira. Good hunting. Game revision narrows your thinking. Truly, I think there are times where it does. Like, I think that's like uh, frankly a fair statement. Um. Cool. So let's. I still want to get that third tape just to be safe. Like while I'm here, I might as well grab it. Um. It's somewhere in this building, Don't right? Try it. I just want to pick up a hollow tape. That's all I want to do. That's a book. 
and come on, let's see. If I were a hollow tape, where would I be? By a computer? Maybe it's on her bar? Oh, it might be in the desk, but I can't lockpick that. My lockpicking's not high enough. It might be around here. Don't even think of breaking into that. I just want to take the hollow tape. I don't want to break into nothing else. I think the check you did. I did do a check, yeah, and it said talk to Pinkerton. I'm just scared that like I'm gonna go all the way back and it's not gonna work. Although I guess that, that wouldn't be the worst sell? thing. I can just make a save. Yeah. yeah. I'll just make yeah. a save. Why not? Worst case scenario, I come back. Oh, right. Do yeah, let's hold on. Let's see if we can check Doc's place first. Planet time. Dink, dunk. Dink. Looking's free. Everything else will cost you. <laughs> what? Who's coughing like that? Cover your mouth, you monster. What are you doing? Friggin' clownery. Um. Doc might have already unlocked it. You don't got nearly enough. I feel crazy. Why can't me? I find this? Why would you cover your mouth if there's been anyone? There's four people in this clinic, and there's also like a patient. Always cover your mouth. You don't want to be spraying your germs everywhere. I don't care if you don't know if someone's nearby. You don't want to be just spitting up like that. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Hi, Carlos. Oh wait, I have water. Hold on. Please, please help. Here. I mean, I... Yeah, just take it. There you go. Almost forgot about you. There's enemies in the distance. Or y'all traitors? Hey. Cool. Hey there. Lucky Harith, you have a cool jumpsuit, man. Alright, time for our trek all the way back to Pinkerton. <laughs> oh my god, the doctor's so rude. Oh, you're not full of bullet holes. Wow. I mean. I kind of, I'm not, I'm not trying to excuse his attitude, but I get him being like, listen, I have so much on my plate. Like, if you are not dying, why are you here? <laughs> you know, like, the area around Megaton isn't unsafe, but it's not safe. God dang it. Screw you. Oh, hold on. I forgot to check my ammo. God dang it. Yeah, I don't even get any loot from those guys. That's like the worst part of it all. Imagine you've both your legs broken and he's just like, I don't care. <laughs> I imagine if you showed up with legs, broken legs, he would for sure be like, all right, get on the table. Like, let's get this done. You know? A Pinkerton. I'm sorry, I feel bad. This quest took me so long to figure out. <laughs> This quest is near impossible to break, but difficult to figure out. Listen, I'd rather it be bug-proof and difficult than easily bugged, right? Because, like, Blood on the Ice in Skyrim, if you don't do that in a very specific order, something's gonna break. And that sucks. What time is it? It's, like, the afternoon. Where are you? Hey, yo, Pinkerton. There you are, mister. Hey there. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. Let's discuss the facial reconstruction and windpipe, uh, what mind wipe you did for the android. What are you talking about, girl? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that?
let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what I want to know. I don't want to threaten him, but I also don't want to lose money. Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Oh, that's a job. fun twist. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub <laughs> it in the face of Dr. Lee <laughs> Just to I get one up on your personal feathers. enemy? I hate that snooty That's bitch. so funny. Um... I have to think, yeah. So I think it's fun that it was Harkness. I truly did not see that coming, and I think that's a really fun little twist. See, I had this suspicion um, it was Seagrave because Seagrave wanted to be on the council, and I was thinking, like, oh, it'd be interesting for an android to, like, want to do some, like, good with the council. But I have to remember, like, their memories wiped. Um, so, like, honestly, that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, we were discussing the android. That witch ruined my life, but <laughs> you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Ooh. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. Mm -hmm. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Here's the thing. I'm not going to... I don't want to tell Harkness because he wanted his memory wiped, right? I feel like I should respect that. Y'all tell me, right? Because, like, my understanding was he wiped his memory because, one, it's, like, the safe thing to do, right? Because they can't find you if you don't know you're the person they're looking for. Um... And two, like, he escaped because it sounds like something horrible happened to him that he didn't want to remember. So, like, oh, that's right. Zimmerman wanted to capture it. But Zimmerman's gone. And Zimmerman, oh, no, not anymore. Not in this save. There's something you aren't telling me, isn't there? Oh, all right. So maybe I didn't wipe his mind like he did. Oh! Had, but I buried it deep. Almost as good, really. But it's still there. Still accessible. That's kind of risky, All though. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet. Why would you that do that? The hidden subroutines. Why did you help the android? Ha! <laughs> Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff Love in the there altruism. I have not heard about. And even then, I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Mm. What do you know about this android railroad? Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. What do you know about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. Hmm. Oh! You think you could perform a facial reconstruction on me? Is this how you change your character? And how. I am the only one in That's all of the fun. wasteland with the skill and the guts to perform I'd probably have to facial pay for it, though, right? you know. Look, you're different from all those other jerk-offs, so I'll get to hone my skill and you'll get the best Death by around. infection. <laughs> the likelihood of death by infection at my hands. So. Um, oh, I can just do that for free? I don't want to change it. I'm fine Thanks. with how it was. Cool. I actually really like that. That's fun. That's like a fun way to like 
explain how you can do that in game, but still giving the player the option to change themselves. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to definitely tell Harkness that he's got to watch himself. Um, so let's go talk to him. Oh, the PC. God dang it. Thank you so much. It's funny because I was like, oh, I should read that in my mind. And then I just fully forgot. I was immediately like, all right, let's go. Thank you so much for keeping me on task. God dang. <laughs> you better be permission. City founders log. Oh, I already, I already, he gave me a copy of that. Ba, ba, ba. Android log one. Ah, I've done it. I've built a circuit neutralizer from spare parts using the diagrams rescued from that vault last year. I'm brilliant. I'll show those hacks from the Commonwealth now. I stole the mem chip from that jerk, Braun. Where does he get off robbing people of their souls like that? Anyway, he's so involved in that simulation of his that breaking in and taking it was like stealing from a little girl. Of course, I won't know whose memories are on this thing until I integrate it into the new host, but they never specified, so it shouldn't really matter. Can't wait until the subject arrives. I got those memories into that android like I was God sending down messages from heaven. Buddy. Knock yourself down a peg. Calls himself Harkness now. Thinks he's an old combat veteran. Did a little extra tinkering with his reflex system. He's certainly not someone I'd want to meet in a fight. When he woke up, he was all confused. We told him he was in a coma for a long time. Between the new memories and the new face I gave him, there isn't anyone that would recognize him. Not even himself. That's his before picture. That's his after picture. Man, this guy got a whole hair transplant? That's honestly impressive. I think this is a pretty cool quest, honestly. I think this is kind of fun. It's interesting, though, because it feels more like cyberpunk than, like... I don't know what you would call the aesthetic of, of the Fallout games, but it's a different aesthetic. Let's see, what did I guess? Oh, pre-recording audio. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm oh. still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. Hmm. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. Oh. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Interesting. I have a sneaking suspicion I might run into the Institute, and man, would I love to go in there guns a blazing. <laughs> Retrofuturism, that's what it is. Thank you. I was like not remembering what that was called. All right, I'm going to talk to him. I have a save. Let's see what happens. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? Uh, I'm not sure how to put this, but you're not who you think you are. What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid, I don't have time for existential debate, and I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. This isn't an existential debate. You're a robot from the Commonwealth. Excuse me? Look, kid, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest porthole. Um, the facts will speak for themselves. I have pictures and an audio testimony. All right, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. It's not real blood, Harkness. It's, it's synthetic. I'm not sure what to say. 
I'm not sure what to even think God, I feel about so bad. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? This is the only way. Activate A321 recall. Ah! My God. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer. The Commonwealth. The Institute. My God. All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I don't feel good about just, this. My God. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. Uh... Your secret is safe with me. Oh, what do you know to do, do about Zimmer? He's the one you were running away from. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. <laughs> Actually, I was hoping you'd let me kill him. Um, can't you just kick him off the boat? I suppose if I'm careful, I could trump up some charges and throw him out. I want to thank you for warning me about Zimmer and for keeping this a secret. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Oh, nice. Um, now that you know the truth, what are you going to do? I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. Mm. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. So what do I call you now, Harkness? Well, I'm not really I sure. I think Harkness is the Look, safe call. just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. Mm. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends. All right? Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, why did you go ahead with the change? Was it worth it? I don't know. Every time I retrieved one of the runaway androids... They fill my head with ideas about self-determination, freedom. At first, I resisted the ideas, but then I started thinking about it. And well, they were right. We're just slaves to them. Mm. We deserve lives of our own. So that's what I did. I chose a new life and gave up my old one. And now you've given me both to remember. I'm glad that he's okay with having his memories back. Oh, letting Zimmerman live is dangerous because he's just going to keep experimenting on synths. My concern is I don't want to start a firefight and like get civilians caught in the crossfire. That's like, that's what I'm nervous about. You know what I mean? Um. Mm, and I still kill Zimmer because... I'm starting to regret letting him live. He's super sex. I don't have to worry about that? Okay. I just don't want civilians to get hurt. But he's not going to Zimmer. He's just chilling. Do you think I could talk Zimmer into fighting me? And then it wouldn't be a crime? Is that an option? Let me... I have a save. Look, I appreciate your helping with... Oh, Zimmer. god dang it, I... Now I'm saved over it like a little ding-a-ling. Hold on. Um... Where is this? Okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I talked him into letting Zimmerman walk. What if we don't do that? Let's let's rewind the tapes real quick. Hold on. I'm a little busy right now. Mm hmm hmm hmm. Mm hmm hmm hmm. Mm hmm hmm hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going. Actually, I was hoping you'd let me kill him. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see what happens. Hmm. He is a security threat, isn't he? All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. And that bodyguard. Oh, but now he, he doesn't fight him with me. Here, use my weapon. Right? That's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure that plasma rifle is one of the best energy weapons in the game. Dang, I'm so glad y'all let me know there was another way to do this quest. Um, missed the fun part again? Did I? I guess it would be fun to watch him do the murdering, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry to, like, keep belaboring this quest, y'all. Thank you for your patience. Um... I you I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate because I keep doing this in Baldur's Gate where um I will like save, exhaust one dialogue tree, and then reload just to see what happens and what's different. I'm a little busy. Alright, right. this will go fast. Beep 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 beep. Um beep da beep 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 beep. Sometimes you have to kill the bad guys. Thank you for warning me about Zimmer. Just do me a favor and don't go blasting up my boat. Unless I'm the one. I have two sets, but I'm choosing to be. In there we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Um, I feel bad. I really do wish we could help the other guy. Um... Where'd he go? He's Ah oh, shoot, now I gotta go to the, the, the science lab. Um science lab. Hey. He disappeared. Good to see ba, you. Ba, 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 ba. Science lab. Hello man. Science lab. Science lab. Science lab. Good to see you. All right, I'll just chill here. Let me grab that uh, plasma rifle. I think I have some ammo for it. And now we wait. <laughs> I was planning on playing Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time. You should. It's really fun. I highly recommend it. When I did it, he gunned down Zimmer right in the market area. Well, Zimmer's right here. Did I go to the wrong place? Because he, like, disappeared when I loaded Hello. into the stairwell. Oh, did I... Hello. Might have beefed this. And I don't have any other saves that I can rely yes. on. Where are you going? Stop what you're doing. I have something important to I'm hoping he's just walking slow. Use the word no in the Commonwealth. He's just a man with purpose, I hope. Your missing robot just isn't a priority. Come on, buddy. He's not just a robot. Fine. Your android. Whatever you call it. It doesn't change the there fact that I'm a very busy woman. Will you please drop it and let me work? I came to this There he is. There's the king. Let's go, buddy. People would be more accommodating. Come on. Let's have your confrontation. Yes? Janice, 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 out of the way. They're fragile. Please. Zimmer, I hear you're looking for an android. Why, yes. I'm anxious to retrieve him and return to the Commonwealth where he belongs. He's a very expensive piece of equipment. I see. This android of yours is little more than a piece of property. A thing? A thing that belongs to you? What are you going on about? Yes, of course he belongs to me. Now, have you found him or not? Yes, yeah, Zimmer. I found your damn android. He's standing right in front of you. But he's not going anywhere. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Not as sorry as you'll be in a moment. Goodbye, Mr. Zimmer. I hope you've enjoyed your stay at Rivet City. <laughs> That's a line that goes hard. 
Oh man. Ah, uh, I didn't want him to have to die. Look, I appreciate your helping with Zimmer. Now. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah, this was way more satisfying. Thank you for that. I'll take that to sell it. Why not? Sucks for you, Armitage. You didn't do nothing wrong. Ooh, I'll take your outfit, though. Okay, good. Everyone else ran away and had self-preservation. Zimmer has an android component? Mm-hmm. Don't know why. Are those worth keeping? Did I grab those? No? Okay. Good to know. Well, thank you for letting me know that there was a, another option for that. I honestly am way happier with that outcome. Yes. Armitage is just a hunter. Yeah, I still feel bad though. It's like, I don't know. He could have. He could have come around. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit. Okie dokie. So quest wise. Let's steal the Declaration of Independence. I need to re-up on shotgun shells and ammo, because I have to fight- Well, I also have some stealth boys, but... Decided to check out- Okay, let's sell some stuff. Oh, I can repair my combat shotgun. Let's go. I'll repair the uh do I even want the laser pistol? No, because I have the other thing. Um The other outfit's actually better for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My shotgun uses shotgun shells. How expensive will that be? Okay, that's not bad. Thank y'all. A pleasure. I'm glad that I also now get everything for a better price. That honestly is like a he oh dang it! The god dang game crashed again. Uh, what was that, sixth? I think that's my record. Dang, Narbit. <laughs> I'm gonna just call it here, y'all. I'm so tired of this stupid game. Freaking god dang it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I super appreciate it. Yeah, you know, you get used to it not crashing, and that's when it gets you. That's, that's when it sneaks up on you, you know what I mean? Ugh. Man, that sucks. But it's okay. Um, I will try to make sure I remember for next time that I need to buy more shotgun shells. And I think we're we're gonna do some national treasure. I think that'll be kind of fun. Yeah, six crashes is enough to harsh everyone's vibe. Ugh, yeah. I mean, thankfully, it was mostly the stairwells, so yeah, I'm I'm glad I was doing, like, my plan for today was do quests in Rivet City, so, like, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you all again for letting me know, like, no, there's other ways of doing this. Um, I have to be not so quick to just try and get a quest complete. Uh, what I also, I, I don't want to know if this is true, but I'm, I'm having, like, a sneaking suspicion I might be able to go to the Institute. And that could be interesting, because Zimmerman's not going to be back, and they're all going to be like, hey, do you know where Zimmer went? And I'll just be like, um, mm, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I think that could be a lot of, I think it'd be very interesting. Um, I'm interested to see if the railroad shows up more. I really wish they chose a different name for that organization. But, um, not for another game? Ah. Oh, because it's in Boston. Ah, well, I still don't regret anything. <laughs> 
thank you all again so much for joining me today. Uh, again, I'm sorry. I know today's stream was uh, uh, during a time that's like kind of unusual for me. Um, the schedule will be back to normal next week. I will be streaming Sunday next week, same time and place. I'm going to get that uh, put together either tomorrow or today, probably tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I know I know today's stream was like, you don't usually stream on these days. So I'm, I'm sorry for changing things up. If anyone's interested, tomorrow I'll be over on Twitch celebrating a friend's birthday. It'll be on Cozy Cat Girl's channel. We're going to be playing golf with friends. It's going to be very silly and chaotic, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, so that's, that's why I'm not playing this tomorrow is because uh, things would probably overlap. And I figured I don't I want to I so I wanted to make sure I still played this game because it has been a lot of fun to play it. Um, and I will say I feel like this game compared to New Vegas so far. There's a lot more like unmarked quests and like figure it out for yourself quests, which has been pretty interesting, I think. Um, so I'm excited to see more of it. Um yeah, I definitely want to do more side quests because it feels like this game really was built to like thrive in that kind of space, if that makes sense. And I'm liking it. Like, I think what I do like about that quest particularly is it was like, hey, if this, you know, the bombs were dropped in 2077 and it's been like 200 years, surely some technology has developed. And I think that's a fun use of the medium. Um, but I'm going to go, uh, make dinner and, and, and do my sort of post stream wind down. But thank you all so freaking much for hanging. I appreciate y'all so, so much. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And I'll see you all next time. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, y'all. Thank you again. You're the best Howligans. I'll hang with you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>